I don't know if any of you have guest hosted your own late night talk show, <laughs> but I'd advise having more rehearsal than I did. But it takes some work. That's why there's nobody better than Mr. Letterman. But it takes a lot of work. I had no idea what I was getting into. And to help illustrate what exactly is required to become a TV temp, <laughs> I have prepared some videotape. Please watch and enjoy. Everything started a couple of weeks ago when I reported to the New York Armory to take the guest host exams. After the exhaustive standardized test, invasive physical, and the requisite tap dance audition, the results were in. I finished in the top 50th percentile. <laughs> then, after what seemed like an eternity, I got the good news. I would be a guest host. So, I'll be filling in for Regis. <laughs> Dave who? <laughs> Once I accepted the invitation, Dave sent me an extremely kind, form-written letter telling me where I could pick up the key to the theater. <laughs> I was also informed that, unlike the handsome salary Dave earns, guest hosts rely mostly on tips. <laughs> Next, I called my agent and begged him to get me out of this. Oh, please. He's fine. He ran six miles this morning. Get me out of this. I settled into my dressing room where, just for fun, I tried on one of Dave's signature smoking jackets. <laughs> Prior to the taping, I stopped by the green room to let the guests know Dave wasn't here and that I would be hosting the show. <laughs> Again, I called my agent and begged him to get me out of this. Do you understand me? This is Bosnia. This will be my Ishtar. This is my heaven's gate. Get me out of that stinking hellhole. <laughs> With only a few minutes left to showtime, I added my signature to the legendary backstage wall where every late show guest host has penned his or her name. Finally, the big moment arrives. The band strikes up the late show theme, my name is announced, and Biff sends me on stage with a smile and a pat on the back. He's screwed. <laughs>